Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Two Toe Tags Metal Reviews and today we're going to review the new Thy Catafalg album titled Naive. So we've listened to this album for an entire week, constantly on over and over again. Vile, what do you think of this album? I had a lot of fun listening to this album. Um, I was very entertained by it because it's very unique. It's not something that I normally hear on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm listening to metal and whatever. There's a lot of elements to this that got my mind going in a lot of different ways. A lot of throwback sounds, a lot of retro types of sounds, a lot of like old school feels. A um, couple songs I want to talk about. Um, track number eight, which is called Vito. Uh, the intro of this song reminds me of some old Slayer. Like, I don't know specifically what song exactly, but just this old Slayer style. It's got this heavy riffing, starts off with a higher tone, then the tone gets lower when these female vocals kick in. There's a cool tom beat on the drums. Now, I'm not saying the song sounds like Slayer, I'm saying there's elements that sound, that remind me, right? It goes into this synth wave type of groove, um, and it was giving me some sounds reminiscent of like the 80s, or maybe 90s, or maybe even the 70s, like dance, rock, new wave, um, art pop style, like hard to really explain, but I listened to B-52s, I listened to Oingo Boingo, those are two old school bands, um, you know, that were more synth wave, art pop kind of things that I do listen to. And this was reminding me a lot of those. So I was getting good vibes from that. Um, these songs have a tendency to kind of go on a little bit of a roller coaster where you get, you know, you'll get your intro, you'll get some cool grooves going on, then songs break down, they get quiet, they get, they get kind of mellow, and then they pick back up again, they go through a little bit of a, you know, peaks and valleys, which is pretty cool. Um, you got these interesting parts with these harmonized female vocals which are few and far between, but they happen, you know, maybe a handful of times on the album. And then you got this like harsh male vocal, which is also reminds me of some old school stuff. Maybe some old school, like some Norwegian black metal style of vocal, right? Just really harsh and raspy. Um, I'm pretty sure these guys are Hungarian, um, which is cool. But there's just, I don't know, I, I got a lot of throwbacks, like the, the second song, which I don't know, I'm not going to try to pronounce any names of songs. The second song, the intro reminds me of Wasted Years by Iron Maiden. Very similar, um, just the, the, the aesthetic of the sound. It's got simple but effective riffing, like there's a lot of really cool elements going for it. Um, but, there were points in the week where I was actually a little bit bored of this album. As much as it has a lot of different things going on, those are the types of things, they, they didn't really like grab me to the point where I was like, yes, I need to hear this again. Yes, I need to hear this again. I wasn't overly thrilled with it is what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, what did you think? Well, the week? I thought this album was really, really cool. And you said unique, and I agree with that completely. I think this album does so many things that you don't really hear, or at least it does so many things collectively that you don't hear on other albums. You know, you'll you'll find inspirations, oh, this reminds me of that, this reminds me of that, it feels like all that comes together. But to have all that, all so many different sounds and so many different resemblances to other things put into one package is something truly unique that you wouldn't see anywhere else from anyone else. Mm -hmm. One of the coolest things I noticed, and this is a really good thing for the album, is that there's so many small things to notice, is that in the second song, near the end, you will hear the guitar playing the riff that happens in the third song. The, like, the main riff of the third song you can hear near the end of the second song in the guitar. Mm. And when it clicked with me, I thought that was amazing. I thought, wow, this is such a specific detail. I started to think, have I heard this in the other songs? But no, it's only those two songs where you hear that. But that's so creative, that's so interesting, and it's so subtle. You would have never noticed until like maybe you just kind of heard them back to back again and said, hey, I heard that in another song. What was that? So I think stuff like that is what makes this album really, really cool. And I think a really good example of what you mean by roller coaster, at least to me with this album, is the last half pretty much from the one, two, three, four, five, sixth song onwards, like those last four songs, all of them start out a certain way and just take you on a complete journey mm -hmm. to get to the end. And it's just, there's so much happening and there's 
it's so interesting and it's really catchy and it's really cool. I kinda, I see where you're coming from when it comes to this album didn't grasp you as hard as it could have. Mm -hmm. Because I felt there were moments for me where I would put the album on and it wouldn't blow my mind, but then there were moments where I put it on and I'm like, yeah, this is really, really cool. So it's a weird kind of dichotomy I kind of see with this album where it's interesting, it's unique, it's extremely creative. I think that's the best way to describe this album, personally. Yes. It, does so much and it has a lot of subtlety, but what about it is lacking that super strong grip? Yeah. And when you say creative, I'll give you guys an example of the creativity here. The second song, which I already talked about, but I'll talk about it a little bit more. The second half of this song, what you have is you have, they're, they're, they're training bars. You got this synth, synth wave type of stuff happening for a couple bars, then it goes to these horns. And the horns and the synth waves are going back and forth for a few bars. Then out of nowhere, saxophone solo comes, and this and it and it solos a saxophone for the rest of the song while the horns are harmonizing in the background. Oh yeah. It's just music creativity at its finest. I feel like they used as many tools that were at their disposal as they possibly could, and they did it very well. They, you know, they they weren't afraid to throw in weird things like, I shouldn't say weird things, but things you don't hear about very often like French horn or trumpet. An entire or, horn section, really. Yeah, like you hear flutes and you hear all kinds of things and things that I'm like, what is that? Is that a harp? Like I'm not even sure what that is. You know? Um, it's like you name an just, instrument, it's probably on this album. Yeah, and, and I think that's pretty cool. Um, shifting gears a little bit, I want to talk about what my, what my favorite song was. And that is the last song. Again, I'm not going to try to pronounce it. I think it was Sveil... is. He says it in the song. I'm not gonna try. I forgot what he said. This song has such cool energy, and I just love the 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 pop it has to it. And I'm probably wrong, but this sounds like kawaii to me. Like it sounds like Japanese music to me. The the vocals sound Japanese. The words sound like they're in Japanese. I'm probably completely wrong. You sound like you look like you're tripping out because I said that. I'm trying to understand this comparison here. It sounds like J pop. Does this sound like J metal? Sounds like J-Metal to me. Um, it gets, I can, pretty, I, heavy, gets pretty heavy. Um, and you know, at the end of that song, the, the rhythm at the end of that song reminds me of Forgot About Dre, but just at a, very, at a much slower tempo. <laughs> Interesting <laughs> comparison. I can kind of see the, the J-Metal comparison. I, you're thinking about it, yeah, I think I can see that. That's, how, that's what I'm hearing, man. I, I'm hearing... But the yeah. fact that it reminds you of those things like just proves how creative this album is. Like yeah. you would never expect to draw comparisons to those that music, you know? That's true. Anyway, with that being said, let's rate this album. So Vile, what do you rate Naive? I think the album's pretty strong through and through. But I can't get over the fact that my attention just wasn't there all week. Even though I wanted it to be, I found myself kind of just having this on in the background going, yeah, whatever, when's when's my favorite song that's gonna come on? Which there's a couple songs that I was kind of gravitating towards too. So I really don't think I can give it a toe tag, even though I really wanted to at the beginning of the week, it kind of died off on me. So I'm gonna give it a 7.5. It's super strong, but just not quite there yet. It's lacking that essence of, of special that it needs to become a toe tag album. So it's gonna give it a 7.5 for me. All right, for me, I honestly have some similar similar feelings. I think this album is really cool, really creative, really interesting. I think for any listener, you will find something in this album that you will enjoy. I think that goes for literally anyone. But the only issue I feel is that it's one of those albums that something might speak to you, but if one song does, the rest of the album might not. And that's kind of what was happening with me because every time the second song came on, I lit up. I was so excited, really into that song. Everything else was really cool, but it didn't have the same spark as mm -hmm. that song did. So I'm gonna match your score of a 7.5 because it's really on the doorstep. And I think if this album had more sparking moments than the other songs like it did in the second song, yeah. that is what would push it over the edge to being a toe tag album. Agreed. Anyway guys, so a double 7.5, this album's still pretty damn good. So you should totally check it out. And yeah. that's all we got for you today. Remember to like the video if you like it. Comment, tell us in the comments below. If you like this album, it's been out for two months now. So surely you guys would have some opinions on it. Mm -hmm. And remember, check out our Spotify playlist in the description below. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And I'm TV Fish. I'm Wild Self. And we'll see you guys later.